The prophet Jeremiah describes our condition like this. My people have committed two evils. They've forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed out cisterns for themselves, broken cisterns that can contain no water. Now he's talking about the two primary sources of water in Israel. Cisterns are an underground man-made cavern with a small opening at the top. People dig down and cut up the rock and carry it out the hole. And they then cover it with lime on the inside and they put water in there. Talk about a lot of hard work. But here's the problem. The rocks are cracked. They need to be plastered over and over again to keep them watertight. Because if you don't do that, the water leaks out. And the problem with that is, if it's not maintained, you eventually have no water. Well, compare this to the other source of water in Israel. Streams that flow freely out of fountains. You just go up to the stream and drink. So easy and such good fresh water. So Jeremiah asks, why have you chosen water from cracked leaky cisterns when there's fresh, pure, living water available for you right here? It's fascinating that this image of free living water is in the last book of the Bible, the last chapter, and the last scene. In fact, after thousands of years of history, of all the scenes God could have chosen to describe, this is the scene he picked. Jesus says, let anyone who's thirsty come. Let anyone who desires, anyone come and drink freely from the water of life. Friends, as we close this session, this is the invitation for us all. We don't have to stay in our slavery. We don't have to keep drinking that brackish water. Jesus offers us living springs of water. And this water, he says, can enter our soul and become like an artesian well within us, a well of joy, a well of life. And if this is something you would like, we encourage you to pray and ask Jesus for this life. Let's change. Let's grow.